We should do this again sometime. This is your first night at Fight Club. You have to fight. Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, we're doing a little bit of a mini stylistic breakdown for this scene in the movie Fight Club. So I'm not going to be spoiling anything for you, but in the movie, there's a lot of use of flashbacks to get some storytelling done. And in these scenes and throughout the whole movie, there's a really heavy use of sound effects to set the tone and kind of set the pace of the movie. And in particular, in these flashbacks, there's some noisy, fast cut, glitchy sound effects. Along with these sound effects, there's a clever use of really quick cuts in succession with each other to start off the clip in a jittery way and make us, the viewer, feel like all these different flashbacks and scenes are being blinked and flashed across their eyes and they're kind of jittery feeling. So I wanted to replicate this effect in Premiere Pro with the cutting because it's really simple. It's all just about cutting and timing. And I've actually seen it done not only in this movie, but it's a technique I've seen across music videos and other works. So let's go into Premiere Pro and I'll be working with this example clip. You notice that this will work nicely when there's a subject in the frame that doesn't move too much around, but there's a part of them that's moving. And also throughout the movie, there's a really gritty dark color grading. So look into some of my tutorials on how to use the Lumetri color panel for some more on that. I'm using a preset look that I've created called cross processing. And I will have my lookup table LUT pack available soon for purchase. So subscribe, follow me on Instagram and all that. Stay tuned for that. But the other important piece that I have in my project media bin is this free sound effect that I found online. So I'll link it to you below. And it's just a noisy glitch sound effect, which reminds me of that kind of frantic feeling noises that they use in the movie. So looking at the waveform, this has four sharp noises in it, which we can cut very quickly and take out large chunks of the original clip too. So I'm gonna actually move it out of the way so we don't splice the sound effect up, but I know that it's two frames at a time for each of these little peaks. So at the start of this clip or wherever you wanna do this little glitchy cut effect, let's create a cut. I'll press C to grab my razor tool and create a cut right there to split the clip. Alternatively, you can use the shortcut Command K for some easier action. Now I'm gonna move a significant amount over till his head or whatever is in a different position and I'll press Q, which is my ripple delete tool. That basically takes whatever's behind the cursor and deletes it to the next cut point. Alternatively, you could have done this by creating another cut, deleting that middle section and moving things over. But I'm gonna be using Q, which is the ripple delete tool in my case. So now we're gonna go two frames over so we're gonna keep this two frame section. I'll press Command K to create the cut, and then I'll move over a significant amount, and I'll press Q to do that. So I'm gonna create four little sections here using this quick editing method. And I'm gonna make sure I'm removing enough information so that it's visually interesting to look at. All right, now that I have these four jumps in time, I'm gonna move my sound effect back over so it realigns with them. And now when I play that back, we created a cool jittery effect where his head kind of spasms back and forth because of the cuts. And it syncs up with that noise and it creates a cool look for the viewer. Now keeping it true to the movie scene and in my example, we're working with a pretty still frame and a still subject. But you can experiment with this on all types of clips to do this fast cut stutter and sync it with whatever types of sound effects or music that you want and play around with the effect. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like on it below and make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for all of my new future videos. You can follow me on social media at Justin Odisho to stay up to date with me. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. We should do this again sometime.